Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create floating 3D text in your videos in two different ways, an easy way and a more advanced way. Both ways will take you less than 10 minutes to create. In Premiere Pro, so I've got a couple of clips here, uh, very basic clips, nothing interesting. For this effect to work really well, you need a clip that has lots of visual reference points, movement and things that the program can detect in terms of space and movement, okay? So I've, I've picked a couple of videos here, they're nothing that interesting, but I'm just moving the camera from left to right or right to left and I'm gonna add a uh, 3D text here, as you've seen in the beginning. I've learned this myself watching YouTube videos, but there are a couple of things that no one really talks about in other videos, and these are very important points, okay? So first of all, make sure your timeline is exactly the same frame rate as your video. If that's out of sync, Adobe After Effects will, will crap out on you, basically. On your clip that you're gonna use to add the text, try not to have any uh, other effects, no masks on it. If you do have those things, it's fine, but it just means that you need to do something called the pre-comp in Adobe After Effects. Like anything, there are many different ways of doing this effect. We're gonna start with an easy mode that takes less than 10 minutes. And for this effect, actually for this part of the tutorial, you're not gonna need Adobe After Effects at all, just Premiere Pro. Right, once you've chosen your, your clip, place that clip in your timeline, make it a little bit bigger. On your preview panel, what you're gonna do here is draw a rectangle just covering the whole image, okay? so change the pen tool here to a rectangle tool, then draw that rectangle. Can be any color. With that selected, what you want to do then is come here under shape and change the opacity for that shape to 50%, just so you can see what's underneath. The next step is to apply a corner pin effect. The corner pin effect can be found in under the effects and search for corner pin. Once you've found it, just drag that straight into your graphic. So going back to the effect controls tab, select the graphic again, and then select corner pin. So when you do that, you can see that in the corner, you've got these four circles around them. So what you wanna do is drag them to your reference point. In my case, my reference point is the phone screen. So I want the text to be following that phone screen. So I'm gonna track that screen, anything that, that moves around that screen, that, that sc if the screen changes direction, uh, I want the text to change with the screen, that's the idea. So at this point, what you wanna do is go, make sure that your playhead here is at the beginning of the clip, and then turn on the keyframes for the corner pin. So upper left, upper right, lower left and lower right. So you wanna drag the timeline to the end of the effect. Sometimes Adobe Premiere Pro takes you once one frame too far. So go back one frame if you have to, there you go, to make sure that you still can see that, that rectangle. Go back to corner pin, select it, and drag the corners to the reference points. So now what we wanna do is just play, there you go. It did a pretty good job. You can make it even smoother by adjusting the, the frames kind of halfway through. So there you go, so once you've done that bit, just play it once to make sure that your rec rectangle is tracking this the way you want. So I'm pretty happy with that. By the way, quick shout out to Shanda. He's the guy I learned, I learned this trick from. All right, next step is actually to turn off the corner pin effect by clicking here in your effect controls. Just turn that off. And then select the type tool, T on your keyboard. And then let's add some text. can do anything you want here with the text, you know, make it bigger. With the selection tool, you can move it around, change the anchor point to, to the middle of, of your reference point, for example. I'm pretty happy with that, happy with the font, happy with everything. Okay, so back here in your effect control, you can see the layers that you've got here in your, so you've got the text, you've got the, the shape, and you've got the corner pin. So what you wanna do is make sure that the corner pin is on top of the text. So move that layer up, or move text down, whichever. And now you can turn on the corner pin effect again. And as you can see, it's sort of aligned to the phone. So again, make any final adjustments as you want. Once you're happy with your text, you turn off your shape. So you, so at this point, you're only seeing the text and play, play it a couple of times. So yeah, so you could stop there. If, you, if you're happy with the movement, you're happy with the position, 
But what we want to do is change a little bit how the, the text appears. So we're going to make it a little bit more uh, exciting how, how it turns up in the screen. So in your text here in effects, effects control, scroll down to transform, click position. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the clip and click on position. So there you go. So that added a keyframe and you open that up so you can see that line. So that first keyframe, so usually go a few steps, I don't know, maybe four or five frames ahead. Add another keyframe, there you go. Right click on this one, select temporal interpolation. I think I said that right. <laughs> and Bezier, it allows you to change the acceleration of the text and the movement. I want the text at the first frame to be out of the screen. Uh, with the move tool, move the text out of the screen and at the frame here, as you can see, it's gone up like that. You can see here that the mouse cursor changes a little bit with a circle in it. So you click on that and drag all the way down so that you can see the curve changes a little bit. And what that does is, is changes the acceleration of the text coming in, which is great. So play that a couple of times make sure you're happy with the movement. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And that's that's it. So that was the easy mode. So this is the more advanced mode. So for this one, similar situation, start with the Premiere Pro and the footage. This clip I'm going to choose could be a clip in, in, a, in a long timeline of 30 minutes video or whatever it is. But what you do is you cut the few seconds of footage that you need. You right click then on that and select replace with After Effects composition. Give it a name. It's going to go 3D text tutorial. Save it. Once you've got your clip in Adobe After Effects, go to the Effects tab over here and, and search for 3D Camera Tracker, or you can go down to Perspective and find it there. Drag that on top of your timeline. It's that simple. Now, in my version, it starts to analyze the footage straight away. If it doesn't do that for you, what you do is you click Analyze, and that will take a couple of minutes depending on, on, on the number of frames. As ever, more frames equals more time, more processing power. So depending on your computer, this could take a little while. So once that's finished analyzing, what you will see is as you hover through your image, let me just make it a little bit bigger, you see these red circles here. And when you look closely, what you see is this colored X marks. Yeah, so these are the 3D tracking points. So what you do here is, is you hover your mouse in the image until you find one of these targets that matches the orientation that you want. So for me, that's pretty good. So once you've clicked on it, you see this three, this triangle, right click on that and select create text and camera. Your text appears. So what you're gonna do here is go to the text layer, adjust any points that you wanna make. So you, you can select the axis, the X, Y, and Z axis here until you're happy with where your text is. Just make a little bit smaller. So I'm going to put it on top of the phone here for me. That's pretty good. If you're not entirely happy with that, you can move that around using the arrow and play the video. That looks pretty good. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to do a final adjustment here and move it a little bit above the phone. You could do anything. You could change the font. You could add any, any more effects at this point. I'm pretty happy with this. You can see the 3D effect working really well there with the camera. At this point, just hit Command S to so save, close After Effects. And what that does back in Premiere Pro is replace your footage with that composition. So what you do then is select an in and an out sequence, render effects in and out, or just render into out. That will take a few seconds to, to render. If you don't do that, it will be a little bit choppy. So it's always good to render so you can see the effect uh, in full flow. Once it's done the rendering, just hit play and enjoy. So that was the first one that we did. And this is the second one. Pretty cool, right? That's it. Right, thanks very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please let the lovely people at YouTube and their amazing algorithm know that you liked it by hitting the like button, 
subscribe as well because there's a lot of new things coming up i've got podcast uh, in, in the works i've got lots of tech reviews as you can see in my channel and i'm also going to be doing a couple of good giveaways there's a couple of live giveaways at the moment so check that out and check the description as well for all the details about this video all of the videos that I've used, I'm going to uh, place them in the description as well so that you can, you can try it yourself. I really appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you in the next one.